California make progress on containing several wildfires throughout the state, the focus now shifts to the daunting task of recovery and identifying the victims. In Northern California, the campfire has killed at least 56 people as over 460 rescue workers and officials comb through debris searching for human remains. They've already uh, have the capability of beginning to collect samples from the general public or people who suspect that a loved one uh, may have perished in the fire. It's the deadliest and most destructive wildfire in California history. A week ago tonight, most of us went to bed not knowing that we would wake up in the morning to a fire that burns 55,000 acres, burns approximately 8,000 structures in the first 12 hours. In Southern California, the Woolsey fire, which started seven days ago, is more than 57% contained. That fire has destroyed more than 500 structures, but with more favorable weather conditions expected, officials are optimistic that they have a handle on this blaze. And on Thursday, yet another new fire in Southern California, the Briggs Fire, just north of the Woolsey Fire near Santa Paula. More than 230,000 acres have burned through the state over the past week, and more than 300,000 people have been evacuated as families are left to wonder whether they'll have a home to return to.